What's this pillow here, man? It's a pillow. Yeah. That's on your couch. Been there for Get a while. man. <clears throat> All right, let's start the podcast. What's up, everybody? Welcome to episode number four of... Four Horsemen. The fourth Horseman podcast. And <laughs> it's a pack... Pod... The guy is drinking apple Podcast juice. where we talk about our shared interests. Yes. That's why it's the- card... This is the OSI podcast. Man. Well, so I, we should preface this by saying, usually when we record, <clears throat> excuse me, usually when we record, it's after work, I've had time to wake up, but today is Canada Day. Now, Ethan wanted me to redact Canada. Yeah, don't say that. But I'm going to say it, and I've said it. We live in a country where bad history for all Every country has bad history. You not empty. Not Belgium. Shout out Belgium. <laughs> Happy Belgium Day. Yeah. Um, no, it's Canada Day. That's why I'm wearing this. Um, go Jays. I was gonna go to the game, but tickets are too expensive, so screw that. Watch it at home for free. Um, keep talking. Keep talking. So when this comes out, Whoa. you want to talk about problematic countries. When this comes out, it'll be July 4th. So happy July 4th, brothers. Yeah, we decided we're going to start uploading these on Monday because um, along with my vlogs and um, just the weekend in general, getting those edited and then these edited and uh, it's just there's not enough time in day. So and that's fine. And But I blame you and I'm angry. So. No, that's all it's right. It's Canada Day, so we didn't have work today, which means we're recording earlier. Yeah, because um, we wanted to get out and get uh, doing stuff. Me and Devin are going to probably... Um, we're probably going corner out. store. Oh, my God. Yeah. That's actually kind of cool. Some fireworks. No, we're going to head... Fireworks, are you just going to, like, shoot them off here? We're going to head over to the Toronto Island, probably. Head over to one of the nude beaches that's there. Are you going to go to Centerville? Nah, dude, it's a hundred bucks to get in nowadays. What? Inflation, man. You're lying. Forty. Okay. Still not worth it. Still not going easily. You don't want to go on the log ride? No, I'm scared of it. Do mini putting. Go scared that, of it. Go on that ride that's I'm inside sca- and it's got like the. I'm head. scared of the. You go, Whoa. Gives you head. Oh, the ride gives you head, and you're like, whoa. You're like, whoa. <laughs> um, oh, but that's I, too I, inappropriate. But I brought a little tasty treat. Mm-hmm. I wanted to surprise Ethan. Yeah, um, with this, and I think he's gonna like it. Maybe I better I hype so. it up to be the best thing that I'll ever have. So, and it's this brand new iPhone. Yeah, Just kidding. He's so we'll give it. Nope. All Ready? right, here we go. If you and, and wait before you do that, if you're listening to this podcast, go and check it out on the YouTube's. Make sure you're watching on YouTube for any audio listeners. You go and check it out on YouTube because I think most of our viewers are on YouTube, but. Um, or listeners or whatever. I think they're on YouTube, but if YouTube you're not, is go on YouTube. It's a good website. You ready? Yeah. I got my backpack. Yep. Who calls it a backpack these days? Me. Oh! <laughs> he got, he came strapped up with the yellow Red Bull, dude. Let's go, dude. Let's go. For these me? Are both for me. Is this for me? Dude, no way. I get I one. got this because it's early in the morning. Oh. You could see the steam Oosh. coming off it. So I had these in my backpack with my microphone. And now, I pu- took the microphone out of the bag. My microphone was freezing so cold. So cold, yeah. Yeah, these are nicely chilled, dude. Oosh. I'm surprised they stayed this cold. They've been sitting in my bag for like an hour. Oh, gosh. Let's go, dude. Saw these puppies when I was at the store yesterday. Had to cop. Yo, um, had to fight a cop for them, me, actually. And that's why I said no coffee this morning. Are you okay? Are you, oh my god! I'm gonna drop it. I'm gonna drop it quick, quick. Sorry for anyone not watching. He's putting coasters down. He dared put a, a, a beverage, a canned beverage, on your on your on my two thousand on my two thousand dollar IKEA table, dude. Yes. My deepest, sincerest apologies to you. No worries. No worries. Um, um, dude. Dude, Jinx, you owe me $50. That's actually kind of cute. You owe me 50, you, Jinx, you owe me a kiss. We'll take care of that after. We'll do, we'll do that on this podcast. So um, let's get into what we wanted to talk about. First things first. I've been raw. 
Oh my. oh my god, man. <laughs> this is why I was prefacing no way. that it's early in the morning and that Ethan is <laughs> usually fast asleep at this point. No way, man. <laughs> <laughs> so recently I, I'm, I so recently I started rewatching all the Star Wars. Yeah. From the start and including the all start the TV Wars. shows. From the Star Wars. Um and including all the TV shows in that currently currently on uh Clone Wars. Enjoying it so far. I like the first two movies. And the Clone Wars not released in chronological order for some reason. Nope. Weird but decision. I did find uh yeah. But I did find a thing online that easily So are uh, you watching it in chronological order? Yeah. Oh, that's so much harder. Not, you gotta do not really. Searching. It's worth it though, in my opinion. Watching yeah, random ass little, episodes, what's the point? It's a little strange what they did, but Mm-hmm. Oh, well, still a good show. Still a good show. Have you watched it before? When I was a kid, um, I used to play like this video game, and and it was called, and it was called um, Hogwarts. No, it was called Mod Nation Racers, dude. Oh, oh dude, um, dude, dude. Uh, what was your question? Is it good? Was it good? No, nah, I really liked it. That's pretty cool, actually. Um, yeah, no, I'm really enjoying it. Did you ever finish your Marvel watch through? No. Okay. Got to Civil War. Quit. So you watched all of Daredevil? No. You just skipped the shows? Yeah. Fair enough. I was like, I'm done, bro. Because they're, they're like canon, but they're not. Yeah, no, you're right, They're though. never mentioned one time. Yeah, you're right, but anything. they are canon now. No, yeah, now, just now, they're. But you canon. don't have to watch; you can just watch the movies, dude. Yeah, but I like Star Wars better, and rewatching Star Wars, um, I realized actually how much I actually enjoyed Star Wars, and how I used to watch it. Uh, how big of an impact it's not impact it's had on my life, but it's like how much Star Wars I have consumed in my childhood. I didn't realize, like, if you think about it, like. All of the video games we used to play, mm-hmm. I used like I used to grind Clone Wars when it was on TV. I used to watch it, and then it was just like watching stuff on TV is hard because it's like it's hard to catch and yeah, it's easier you, to just like watch it now. You one hundred percented Lego Star Wars three, the Clone Wars before mm-hmm. I did. Yeah, Kenzie and I did that together last year. Yeah, I did that like first one. When it first came out, really good Lego game. Uh, one of my favorite Lego games, I would say. Top three Lego games, probably, um, probably Lego Star Wars. Probably number two would be um, Lego the movie. Lego really? the movie. <laughs> Lego the movie. The Lego movie two. Oh, oh no! No shot. No dude. shot, dude. Um, Lego the movie three. Oh. And I don't know yet. Guy got a, nah, guy got a we're pre-release not, yeah. copy. No, yeah. Um, I really liked it. Uh, the Lego. I thought you were sorry. writing your top three Lego, Lego games. No, I was just saying that as a callback to the last episode. Um, well, the best Lego game and really the only one that people should play complete is saga. the complete sag sog. Yeah, they kind of um, shouldn't have come up with the Skywalker saga. Skywalker saga was one of the bigger disappointments this year. That was a year. big flop boss. Yeah. Bigger flop boss than Cyberpunk, dude? Not true. But I don't know, dude. I just like Lego Star Wars was definitely an easy game to make good. I have not finished it, which is unfortunate because I pre-ordered it and I was very excited for it. Yeah. And haven't finished. I we haven't even finished episode six. Yeah. I. Uh, it for me it was like the pacing. You rinsed things. through the game and it skipped through so much, dude. It was a lot of things. It was just like it was the the <laughs> lack of levels, the lack of structure to the game, the over complicate over complification. Yeah, wh- is that you the don't word? need to complicate the um, algorithm UI and the you, you don't have to make my Lego game an RPG. 
Facts. I, I don't want skill trees in my Lego I don't game. want skill-based matchmaking in my, in my Lego <laughs> games. Oh, the CPU. Oh, the CPU is cracked. Dude, that's going to be the... Na- <laughs> Yo, he's nasty with it. Oh, my goodness. The CPU just 360 no scope. Oh, me. my God. No, but if... Like, I barely like skill trees in normal games. They're too hard to keep track don't of. put them in my Lego game. Like, uh, the one in... I think skill trees, it's too much at once. And, like... Uh, um, what's it called? Uh, Valhalla, Assassin's Creed Valhalla with that skill tree. That's just so much going on. The Assassin's it's like, Creed Valhalla, what the it's, fuck? It's what like, do I upgrade? It's like anyone Ubisoft, help me? Ubisoft spent more time on what not to do. No, they spent more time on making the skill tree than making a good game. Yeah. Well, Valhalla was like they spent more time making the skill tree and focusing on wh- how much microtransactions sh- should cost instead of yeah. working on the game. Yeah. I think, I think nowadays my problem with single player games is every single one's an RPG dude. Every I don't have an one. issue with an RPG, but like, I think sometimes I do. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes I do. I think Assassin's Creed. What I like about that is, uh, not having to worry about being the right level, like a role playing game and like an action RPG. Like I, or, or like like God of War has skill trees and that sort of stuff, but I wouldn't consider that game an RPG. Yeah, no, neither would I. But I'm saying, I'm saying when there's when there's a level system in a single player game. Personally, I don't necessarily like that when it's like. Um, oh, that's that's sort like of not a-, a level system in the sense of like you level up and you get. Uh, like you level up with XP. I mean, in terms of like, I'm want to continue this story. But I'm, I'm level 25 high, yeah. and they're level 100. Guess I got to spend eight hours grinding and then I can do what I want to do. Well, that's the thing about that's the thing about RPGs. A lot of them today. Yeah, is and uh, especially the the Assassin's Creed game, the Assassin's Creed games. Yeah, normally I don't have a problem with the that. Side but. missions are not side missions. You have to play them if you want to level up or. Buy the microtransactions to level up. Well, that's exactly what they do, bro. Um, and normally, some games, I don't have a problem with that. Like, um, uh, what's it called? With the side missions or like with-, with, with the leveling system? I think, well, I think the leveling system in general, in terms of at least MMOs, are very outdated. Get rid of the fucking leveling system, bro. <laughs> uh, it's just such a boring waste of time. It just turns people off of every single game. But anyways... Um, well, it turns you off of every single game. It turns definitely a lot of people off. 100%. Um, because yes. it's just levels, leveling systems in MMOs are just um, nonstop rinse and repeat grinds for But you like months. Destiny. Yeah, but I don't necessarily like Destiny for the, for the mechanics of the game. I like it for like, well, I'm sorry, not the, the mechanics, endless, but like tens of I just hundreds kinda, of I, hours. Of I grind. like it. Because I like gr- to hope that you get the random item that you need. I like grinding. I just don't like grinding the same thing over and over and over. But that's exactly what Destiny. That's what is. Destiny is. After after a certain point, that's what Destiny is, and that's when I stopped playing. Mm. Was but there's like nowadays because especially if you go long enough uh, in a video game, especially a multiplayer video game, there's so much content that has been added since, which was what what it was with Destiny for me. And then I just got there's so much to do. So there's a bunch of different new levels and new gear to get new weapons new. But as soon as I got everything and it was like, repeat the t- same 10 goddamn missions every week to get maybe a new level, dude, maybe a new rocket launcher you're never going to use. Then I got bored of it and I stopped playing. That's fair. And that's the same with wow. That's why nobody plays. Wow. And it's just, and I, and I have one word to say. Wow. Wow, dude. It's just one mechanic. Sorry, not one mechanic. One Maybe mechanic. ten click. Th- one, meta- one, one, one mechanic. One mechanic. One mechanic. Ten things you have to do that you have to log on every single day to do. Because if you don't log on every single day and do the same ten things every single day over and over and over, you're not going to be able to get what you need to get in a timely manner. Whereas other people are going to get it, and then they're going to be ahead of you. And then it's like, and then it gets to a point of. Well, I need to get I need to do the raid to get this item, but I can't join a raid because I'm not a high enough level, but I can't get a high enough level without this item. No. You wanna know a really good 
single player game that I've been playing mm. that kind of goes not super talked about. Uncharted. <laughs> Guardians of the Galaxy. How is that? I know you wanted to play that. How is it? Really good. Was it good? Nah, it's not that good. Damn. No, it is really good. It's kind of, I mean, I just do this to myself and it's annoying, but I'm trying to platinum it. So I'm following a collectibles guide as I'm playing the game to like minimize the number of playthroughs. Yeah. But if you don't care about that and you're just playing normally, it's a blast. It's, I'm about, I think I'm about halfway through the game and yeah. it's really good. It's by the same people who made uh, Marvel's Avengers and that game sucked booty. Yeah, really bad. That game was awful. But this game, good. It is. I don't know if I was talking about this on the podcast. I don't think so. But it it amazes me how in 2022, a, a game company can still make a bad game. There are so many case studies out there of what makes a good game and what makes a bad game. And companies still just are going to do what they're going to do. It doesn't matter. Well, because some people, some people will still like the that game for what it is, Marvel's Avengers. But no one liked that game, Call of Duty Vanguard. Well, I, I mean, I don't know what the numbers look like on Vanguard. Cyberpunk. I could go on and on, dude. Yes, I'm not Assassin's I'm, I'm Creed saying, Unity. I'm saying these games suck ass, but it's because they're made by stupid people. That's what I'm saying, bro. How how how? There's no passion. Here's okay. Well, there's passion, but there's not. There's also the there's no first aspect of, all, no, of what take is that possible. Back. There's no passion. It's all money driven. Well, Activision. that's what the developers are, or not the developers. The uh, publishers are money driven. The developers, right. I'd like to think, are still you know they want to put out a good game. Nope. Okay. Ask them. Um, unless you're Dice, and then it's like, then we don't. Or care. Activision. Yeah. Or Activision. or Ubisoft. <laughs> or, or any Ubisoft. game company. Fuck. Well, except for Naughty Dog. <laughs> Naughty Dog is chill. And Santa Monica Studios. Um, and Activision, but there's, I mean, there's a lot of the, the, the gaming, the game design game making culture is so horrendous. Yeah. Like there's so many jobs, but it's so toxic and there's, it's just not healthy, but you make a lot of money. So, um, but well, that's why it's not healthy It's because game. The publishers, for the most part, um, pressure the developers to get a game out on time, or uh, for and a have a date, certain amount of for a certain date. Micro and then that game is often rushed, and thus ends up not being good. The problem with Cyberpunk was that CD Projekt Red was there; they were the developers and the publishers. They published their own games. So they have no excuse, man. So they had no excuse, and they had some of the cockiest marketing of all time. So yeah. Cyberpunk is, I mean... Cyberpunk's just, just an bad. L. That's, that's just, just an L in gaming history. Um, but something like, I don't know, I'm, I'm trying to think. Like Square like Square Enix, probably that Marvel's Avengers game was, was rushed or... You know, they, they, they thought World. they could do something and then it wasn't possible. Like that's what I feel like cyberpunk was as well as they, they thought they could do everything that they said and then they just couldn't. Hmm. And so, and then also the game just didn't work. I think what's crazy about games nowadays is like, at least for me, every single game that comes out, except for single player games, cause those ones don't really get huge game break, like game changing um, updates. Is like every single game is like okay, it came out. Let's let's wait a year before the game's actually done, and all of the updates that were supposed to drop with the game have actually come out. That was like but new sometimes, world. Sometimes they need to get a game out to make money, like, which is the problem. Like, but but that but they're but they're at the end of the day they're a business. They have to make money, or there just won't be any video. But the games. problem, but the problem with that is like with I'll give New World as an example. New World came out. What is that? Okay, so that's good question. Good question. Um, it's an MMO, another MMORPG that's like based in medieval times, but it's 
medieval. Oh yes, yes, yes. It's yes, medieval right. fantasy. That's one that everyone was so kind of like magic. Out yeah, and Amazon that. made it. Um, and of course, Amazon, you know, not gonna make anything uh, customer friendly. It's going to make money friendly. It's gonna make it Bezos friendly. But, but the thing about that is like, okay, let's use that as an example. We got to get this game out. We need to make money now, and then we'll come out with the updates later, right? Okay, I guess that kind of makes sense. So you drop an unreleased game. Everybody plays it for the first, I don't know, two months. You realize this is unfinished. I'm bored out of my goddamn mind. I'm done with this. I'm moving on. One year later. Hey, guys. We came out with all the updates you guys wanted. Guys, we're, we're still here. Everyone's moved on. Yeah, so and now the game's making no money. So No Man's Sky had a similar thing happen where they... Yeah. But I actually have a lot of respect for the developers of No Man's Sky because they were rushed to get it out. Mm -hmm. Wasn't done. Didn't work. People stopped caring about it. It died. But they didn't stop working on it because they knew that there was potential. And, and now, there was. And then No Man's Sky came back and won a crap ton of awards and people play it. Yeah. So... I don't I don't have a problem with a company if they release something and it's not good, it's not finished, and they're like, okay, that's on us. We're sorry. We're going to give you all of this. We're going to fix it and give you all this stuff for free. Just be patient. And but then they, they do yeah. it, and it's good, and people like it. Whereas EA or, or Ubisoft or some of these big-time publishers, they don't Blizzard, give an ass Activision. about you except for how much money you're going to give them. They will put out an unfinished game, and then they just won't do anything about it. And then they'll, they'll be like, buy more They'll put stuff. out an unfinished game. They'll be like, uh, fixing it, fixing it, never fixes it, never apologizes, never makes up for it. Everybody hates them. Still and, and buys everyone, the next and game and microtransactions. I mean, I'm a little guilty of that. Not the microtransactions. I think it's, I think it's ridiculous that I think any video game with microtransactions should be free to play. Zero question. Fortnite. If you need any example as to why that works. I think it depends Fortnite, on what the microtransactions are. Apex Legends. Are. Warzone. You're telling me those three those three free-to-play games are not at the top of... Everybody's at the top of Twitch right now, guarantee you. Um, you're telling me that they didn't make a profit on those games? But, it, but, but if games are just free... Not every single video game. But games like those. Right. Should. Like Apex is not free, is it? Yeah, it is. It is? Okay. I thought and you had so to pay is Warzone. For Apex. I knew Warzone was free. Warzone's I thought that you free. had to pay for Apex and I was like, Are Apex you is me free. Right um uh, uh obviously Fortnite's free. And look at those things. Fork knife. I, I don't care as nearly as much for the microtransactions when a game is free. Because then it's like Okay, you gave me a free game. I'm enjoying this game. I'm going to give back, and I get something out of it. The game is good. I trust that the game is good, so I'm going to spend money on it. Congrats, you made a good game. Here's some money. Not, I fucking hope this game is good. Oh, it's bad? And oh, wait, $25 fucking dollars for one skin on one gun? I'll do it. On top of a $90 game? Sold. Purchase. It's so ridiculous. When's the man? next like, skin come? When's the season pass coming out? <laughs> I think. Oh my god! But and you're then, not the only one that thinks this, by the way. No, absolutely e not. The, every gamer thinks but th this, and that's what frustrates me. Is this is the narrative? No, no, no. But, but Ubisoft made good. Ubisoft made good. They came out with NFTs, dude. Oh, that's sick. That's sick, bro. They As a micro with, the ultimate microtransaction they came out NFTs. With, um, it really is the ultimate microtransaction. Yeah. They came out with except like, not micro. Rainbow Six. Uh, did you know NFTs. I was thinking about this the other day CSGO Did you watch that Philion video by the way? No not yet CSGO had the original NFTs CSGO created NFTs T with, Martin with their, created NFTs No guys. think about it With their, with with their skins Lotto. You know how you could um, get skins and, sell them? and then sell them On CSGO Lotto But it was just like It was just a digital thing that you were selling And it was the idea of it being rare Is what drove the price up Right and was like the flex. I was yeah. thinking about that uh, Jeez, the other man. day. Come on, man. Stop burping. 
I was thinking about that the other day, that which is, is funny. That is a good point. They started NFTs, bro. And that game is still going strong. CSGO, free, dude. Another case study as to why a f- games should be, some games, multiplayer games, should be free with microtransactions. I don't give a rat's ass if you want to put in gambling mechanics. I don't want to care. I don't care if you want to put in supply drops. I don't care if you want to make a skin bundle $25. If the game is free and not ninety fucking dollars, dude. Yeah, I mean, again, it depends on the game, but Fortnite alone has proven that the free to play model with yeah. attractive cosmetic, like none of their none of their purchase item, none of their microtransactions even benefit anyone, except for just like ah, this is a cool skin. I think I want it. Spider Man. Yeah. And 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 the thing that with free to play games is like it opens the door. For literally everybody to play your game. Literally everybody. There is zero barrier to somebody playing your game. And then who knows? Maybe that person will. Maybe there's somebody out there who would spend, so, who would fall in love with like Call of Duty and, and have money to be like, all right, I really like this game. I'm going to buy skins and drop thousands of dollars on skins. But they don't want to drop the $90, nor should they, on being like, this could be a good game or this couldn't be. I don't want to drop $90 for it to be a bad game. So I'm not even going to try. If it's free, you try it. Oh, well, that's one customer you lose who didn't like it and they didn't spend any money on the game. Over the thousands that do play it, enjoy it, and then drop money on it. Anyways, that's my rant, dude. Did you know that Call of Duty Ghosts is still $130 on the PlayStation Store for the digital deluxe edition? Well, that game was goaded, bro. But but a game should depreciate in value. (laughs) I do agree with that. Like... There, what what game was I on the PlayStation Store the other day for? It was some broken, stupid game that that they're still Unity, selling dude. for for pennies on the dollar. And I'm like, oh my goodness, I can't remember what game it was. Was it Unity? No, it wasn't Unity. Imagine they're still selling Unity for a hundred dollars. But no. it was just like Call of Duty edition. Ghost should not. Call of Duty Ghost should be like twenty bucks now if you well, still want to play it. I don't even think I the think servers just, are still alive. No, for that I was game. gonna say you can't play it. You'd have to you, like it, that's unless just, you're playing campaign, but. Actual, in which case, twenty. Crime. My voice just. Cries. In which case, one hundred and thirty dollars campaign. Nah, I'm fucking worth it, man. No campaign Brutal. is worth that. Brutal. Anyways, we're gonna take a That's quick my break. Rant. We're gonna take a quick break. We're gonna let Ethan cool off. Chug his Red Bull, and um, we'll be back with part two, baby. We're back, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Welcome back. Coming back. Thank you for sticking around. Um, I'm leaving. Ew. Part number two. We're going to talk about. Dude, and move we, over. You're so okay, close. I'm sorry, to me. man. No way. What, man? Get away. The you said move over. <laughs> Get away from me. Um, creep. So we know that it came out a few days ago, and we've already watched it at the time of you watching this, ideally, unless we're dead. Um, could be. Could be. Could be. But Stranger Things, we wanted to come on here because it's Friday right now. I think the show is probably out when we're recording this. But it is out. We haven't had time. Yeah, we haven't had time to record this. Or sorry, to watch it before record. recording this podcast. So that instead, really what we're going to do. Sound effect. It wasn't. It wasn't. Um, that was just a sound effect on the uh Sound board that I actually have. I have. Oh, you guys, cool. you guys at home can't see, but I have like a whole. You guys got a mega panel. board. Yeah, it's like twist knobs over here and like if i wanted to adjust the gain like over there and shit um no but uh we wanted what i want to do i thought it would be interesting is like give our predictions and then as the time you guys are seeing this obviously the show will be out and we'll see if we got it right my number one prediction dead the the show season finale comes out my number one prediction the show starts with the credits the end credits (laughs) the end credits (laughs) Because it's the upside down, is they end the show with the star credits. They show the whole thing upside backwards, down. upside down. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen that video of the uh, the British dude where he's like, where the, he's like getting a street interview, and the guy's like, "Tell us something your mom wouldn't." Or he's like, hey, "You having a good time?" He's like, Ugh. "He tries to oh, eat yeah. the mic." He's like, "Tell us something your mom wouldn't know." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have seen that. Uh, good video, good video. Good anyway, video, Stranger good video. Things. You know, speaking of Stranger Things, this show. This is Stranger Things podcast. <laughs> Have you ever heard of speaking this show? Speaking of Stranger Things, I'm pretty sure there's a show called Have that. Have you ever heard of the show, Stranger Things? Strange Things. <laughs> Have you heard of the show, Strangest Things? It's about a show where no, they go I, around at people's houses. I hope they all die. 
<laughs> You're so convinced that there's a season five, man. That who's going to be in it? What do you mean I'm it? so convinced there is? You're He's the only like, one who thinks that. On IMDb, Everybody simply. knows that there's only four seasons, man. This is it. My prediction. Yeah. I was watching a TikTok that was like, oh, so it's someone else's prediction. No, no, I was. No, you're outed. No, come on, man. No, don't have me. Don't expose me. So my prediction is, I was watching this guy's prediction. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was. I was about to say a prediction, and then I was like, it made me think of something else. Okay. I was watching this TikTok, and I was like, um, it was like, because I haven't watched the trailer for part two. Neither of Nor I. will I. Saw the first because I was like, two hundred percent, everything's like, gonna be fucking spoiled. I saw that they they auto played it on my Netflix after I finished the last episode, and it was like. And here's all the spoilers. <laughs> yeah. Like, so no, pause. pause, pause. Resume, resume. Um, and it resumed. Uh, it was this guy who was like, here's why all five characters are going to die. And uh, proof in the trailer, skip. Proof in the trailer. It, this, this by the way, is the not a spoiler because uh, we haven't watched, we it. Haven't watched it yet. And, yeah, and it wasn't. And, and that video, that TikTok was released before it came out. So he wasn't saying anything that he actually yeah. knew. He was just like, I guess here's the trailer and exactly why all, all these five characters are going to die. I'm like, pass. And then it was the next video was like someone recording their fucking computer screen to the trailer. I'm like, skip, man. Come on. And then it was an interview with like Stranger Things cast. I'm like, I can't interact. It's just going to be Stranger Things. Skip. Moving right along, man. Anyways, my microphone strangest, twenty yards away. Strangest from me. things. Um. Yeah. No. This isn't spoiler talk for the episodes that just came out. We might mention some spoilers for the first half of the season. If you haven't watched it by now, bro. Like, if you haven't watched it, you probably don't care. Deserves to get spoiled for so, you. <clears throat> well, it doesn't deserve to get spoiled. Mm -hmm. The people might not care, dude. Well, then it deserves. And they you. don't care about you or me. You deserve it. Thank you. They don't care about us. Why are they 30 minutes into the podcast, man? Um, yeah, I think the big one that that a lot of people and that I didn't really have. I, did, I guess I just am oblivious. I'm oblivious to a lot of things that happen in TV shows, mm -hmm. especially nowadays, which is strange because when I watched Lost, I watched it like five times. And I'm privy to all of the little Easter eggs and secrets and all that all that jazz but when it comes to a new show i'm just sort of like watching it you know i'm not yeah. focused yeah i'm kind of just like enjoying oh, it for what kinda, it is yeah that's kind of cool and then i'll be listening to a podcast and be like what did you see at the 30 second mark of the last episode when he did a backflip in the back in the background and he actually was landed upside it. down and he actually landed he actually landed it and it was sicko mode did you see in the last episode there's a teddy bear which actually ties into the teddy bear making industry and it's a commentary on uh sweatshops. chinese sweatshops no obviously no, i didn't I that see that man sorry i missed that part it's too busy looking at it's too busy watching the show it's man too busy watching the show and listening to the dialogue <laughs> um but there were a lot of i guess hints that after watching the um all the videos and listening to the podcast afterwards will i think uh his sexuality is going to be a major. Oh, he's gay. There's your question uh, about that. In this, in these last two episodes, um, I do like the idea of sort of for the final season it tying back and having Will. I mean, I just feel, I feel bad for the guy, but I don't feel bad because he just keeps getting the same haircut, and that kind of makes me angry. Yeah, but man, poor get Will, a better haircut. Poor Will, the guy's just been a tortured soul since the. Literal first episode of the show, <laughs> dude. <laughs> the, the guy, that reminds me. The guy hasn't had one good day since the show has come out, dude. That reminds me of this clip that I saw a few memes about, but then I don't know why it wasn't used. <laughs> okay, so it's this clip of Will in season one when he's like in the hospital bed, and he, <laughs> and Joyce is like trying to like wake him up and like be like get him snapped back to reality. Trying to be like, dude, get him on. <laughs> and, it's, and it's him going, it's him going like, oh, you're. He, like he's trying to identify who's who and he's like you're your mom that's in season two by the way or season two then and oh yeah you're right season two and it's just like because samwise Gamgee is there and it's just like these videos of these of these i don't know like whatever the dialogue will be like blah 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 and then it'll just cut to him going your mom <laughs> <laughs> and it's so funny bro oh fuck it's so funny but um yeah, Will has just had a rough go of things, and although Sam you would like, G. although you would like, James <laughs> Frodo, man, come on. Although you would like to maybe think that Will is gonna have a happy ending, I don't think so. 
I no. don't think that this show is on the trajectory to have a happy ending. Um, if any character dies in this episode, in the finale of season it's going four, to be Will. I hope that it is Mike. Oh, I hope it's Mike. It's not going to be, man. No, I think it will be Mike. And I hope it is. It won't be, simply. I don't think it's going to be Will. I think Will is going to No, I think either get angry because he's going to be like, Will is not going to be my boyfriend, and then Vecna. Will is going to get angry because Will's not going to be his boyfriend. <laughs> and then Vecna is going to be like, yo, Will, I can get you, I can get you what you want. Unlimited you gotta, power. You just got to come over here and hang out with your boy one time, and then, and then Will's going to You just got to cut off Will's hand and Will's gonna be like, force bet, choke him. Bet. He's going to go. He's going to say bet? Will's going to be like, bet. And then Vecna is going to give him a sick fade. Go. Cool. He just goes. Doosh, and he, he goes. Doosh. No, he pulls out the clippers. He goes. He goes Whoa, shit. Dude. Yo, my boy Will's nasty with it. And he's got like a beautiful like my skin taper Will. fade. <laughs> my boy Will's skin taper goated high with, fade. Goated with the saw sauce. Super um, based haircut, bro. But I do think. Well, it's going to be interesting because. They sort of, I mean, in season three, they had these sort of like, Robin is not mm-hmm. into boys twist. Not a twist. Which rattled me at the time. Um, for you wanted her to reasons. be into you. Yeah. Please be into me. Please be into me. Um, Please notice me. Uh, so I, I, that's why. Oh, I, for personal reasons. <laughs> yeah. So that's why I didn't. Um, I didn't initially think when when people were talking about like oh Will is gonna be gay it's gonna come out he has a crush on Will or he wishes come on that man it's the second time with Will he doesn't have a crush on Will man he's got a crush on Mike shit sorry guys <laughs> Will he he's just trying to love himself that's what I yeah, think the metaphor to, of the show is yeah um, no so that's why I was like they already did that kind of twist I'm not saying they couldn't do it again but maybe they will. I think it makes sense if you kind of look at the context clues, but, um, yeah, I, I, I definitely think Will is doomed for not death, but some sort of tragic ending to the season. Um, initially I thought maybe Mike would die and it would somehow be the gang's fault and then Eleven would turn bad for the final season. But Eleven um, doesn't really care for Mike anymore. Yeah, and then I was like, Hopper dies. Well, they already did that. That'd they be already, so dumb. They already did that bit. So, I mean, like, and and again, like, maybe no one dies. Maybe I no think one someone dies. dies. I think you five think characters we, die, and here's exactly why in the trailer. Do you think one of the main yep. kids die? I think Will does. You think Will is going to die? I think Will's going to sacrifice himself. Interesting. But die in the end. He's going to sacrifice himself, but live. He's going to sacrifice himself so and then die, but then he's going to get rest. He's going to bring his reboot card to the reboot van. Oh, dude, that's actually going to be unreal. Dude, that'd be sick. What if, dude. Well, the, the Demi Gorgon is in Fortnite. Yeah. What if they, uh, what? dude, what if they got a Mike skin or a Will skin in Fortnite? <laughs> no, come on. If they got a Will skin, I would buy it. <laughs> I, would, I was just about to say, I might call I that. I wouldn't buy the Mike skin, but I would buy the Will skin if he had the, like, season three... Or two fit where you got the shorts up. Oh, to this. and the and I'm surprised that they didn't do that because they put real the people in that game, haircut. like like Tom Holland is in that game, and uh, well, that's just about it. You yeah, McGregor's in that game, I guess. There's nothing really like unique about about those characters where like the Demogorgon was in the game. Yeah, Tom Holland is in the game, but he's he's in the game as Spider Man and. But Nathan, Nathan Drake, Drake is just like Nathan. He's the guy. But yeah, I see what you mean. But Nathan Drake even has like certain qualities. But like he's got adventure-y outfit. He's got an Indiana Jones feel. These kids are just kids. No, Indiana Jones copied Uncharted. Oh, my God. And <laughs> Indiana Jones is coming to Fortnite next week. Yeah. You can unlock the Indiana I think, Jones I think I, 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 you could definitely add those characters to Fortnite, and it wouldn't be weird. There's zero question. Dude, they added, just, they added some of their characters that aren't like characters they're just like people i'm surprised and people I don't buy those think skins. they i don't think they usually when like something will 
Usually when a property drops that is similar to something they've already done in the past, they'll redrop the skin. But I don't think that they redropped the Demigorgon. They one. might for this finale, though. Like next Thursday. Maybe. Or or even this Thursday, I, I'm maybe. surprised they, didn't drop, they haven't dropped the Vecna skin, to be honest. Unless they just don't have the partnership with Stranger yeah, Things Yeah, maybe anymore, they just which, don't which anymore. Which could be the case, but... Um, that's another cra- That's another thing. We wanted to go back to the conversation we were talking about before, man. Collab, bro. Collaborations with video games. The bro. Fortnite Everybody collabs are out of control. Con- the Fortnite collabs are out of control. But anyways, this and that's is- what makes it so. Su- anyways, this what makes it. So- that's what makes it so bad. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so I don't know. I, I mean, I think Doctor Brenner, he's toast. Papa. Okay, yeah, that pa- guy's Papa's dead. toast. That guy's dead, and not in a not in like a heroic way. No, like, not he's in a murder get way. Bodied. Yeah, he's gonna get just got. I I I think. Eddie is going to die. Thank goodness. Can't stand the character. Really? And I wish that... I kind of um, like Eddie. I wish that uh, you could block sounds on TikTok. You can block accounts, but one feature they really need to add is blocking yeah. sounds because the the remixed Chrissy Wake Up is one of my least favorite things on the entire planet right now. Really? And I never want to hear it ever again. Interesting. Let me block sounds on TikTok. Because some of the trends that are associated with sounds are equally as cringe as the sounds. Mm -hmm. And I just wish so badly you could block a sound. Anyways, I digress. I've blocked so many people on TikTok. And I don't want to I don't want to get into some of the scenes that were in the trailer that I've heard about because I don't want to, like, spoil it potentially for for you. Um, But I yeah, I I I mean, people are Steve might die. I mean, Steve seems like the main candidate to, to, to die, I think. As much as I'd like it to be Mike, I do think Steve is going to be. Yeah. If anyone's going to sacrifice themselves, oh yeah, it's going to be Steve. Yeah. Fuck. Now that you say that, you're definitely right. Which is kind. Of I don't want to. I don't want ups- Steve to die. Which is kind of upsetting because Steve and Hopper are kind of the only two characters I like. Yeah. And at the end of last season, they fake Hopper dies, Hopper, and I'm like, okay, <laughs> no. well, what's the point of watching the show this. anymore? Then they. But then, him don't back. worry. Immediately, he's not dead. Oh, in the trailer, he wasn't dead. That came out for season four. Or, 2019 they were like hopper's back guys two years they did later tease it they did tease it in the post credit scene yeah but to be fair yeah um but they didn't outright say it and that's why i just refuse to watch trailers ever again i will watch that's why i'm not watching this i will watch a teaser trailer. trailer and that's it like the thor love and thunder which by the way comes out next week hmm. i got my tickets can Keepers i come for thursday nope okay. not invited okay Got my tickets for Thursday because we're going to be actually away next Friday, which means we should probably record the podcast earlier. Right. You are right. Um, actually, we might have time after work on Friday. Um, okay. And we'll talk about we'll talk about it afterwards. Yeah. We'll figure it out. Um, but when we when Mackenzie and I went to go watch Jurassic World Dominion, which by the way, did he run through a pyroclastic he flow in that? He didn't, unfortunately. <sighs> What's the point of making a Kinda movie? No point. But, and this goes into sort of our conversation last week. Mm-hmm. So many people are hating on Jurassic World Dominion. And all I have to say is, it's a Jurassic hey, Park it's movie. It's a movie, bro. It's a dinosaur movie. What are you expecting? Yes, Jurassic Park, the first one, is like critically acclaimed. But, man, have you not watched the other two Jurassic World movies? What did you expect the from this The first one was film? actually kind of chill. I liked all of them. I just think... I thought they were cheesy, but I liked all of them. I had no issues. I'm not sitting there going... Yeah. Oh, the dinosaur didn't hit the gritty. Oh, that's one way to hit the gritty. Could you imagine if the T-Rex absolutely he bodies just, some dude and hits the, grit, hits the gritty? That'd be unreal, bro. That's another collab that I'm surprised Fortnite I didn't. was just about to say that. They didn't put Chris Pratt in I was in, just about to say Fortnite. Chris Pratt and uh, Bryce Dallas Harper is uh, should have been. Bryce Harper is Bryce in Har- the game. Um, Bryce Harper should have been in the game, bro. Yeah. That's another thing, bro. Man, I should work at Fortnite. Just unlimited collabs I can think of endlessly. Sports. Well, people. they came out. They came out with a uh, dude. Imagine Valencia, rocking an like, Austin Matthews and like got the surprised. hairline all the way back here. There hasn't go. been an NHL collab, anyways. But they came there out. There hasn't with a, been anything collab. They came oh, out with the Balenciaga collab. I saw, I saw. I wish they did. Well, wish they did Bape or Off White or literally any other brand, any other clothing brand. Supreme would have been cool, but I did not done a Supreme collab. Oh, Anyways, this is shit. not the Fortnite podcast. We should just talk about just an hour. Every episode, we it's talk for the, an hour about potential Fortnite collabs and why they would be cool. 
Um, I think that actually. I think that actually uh, a yellow Red Bull can would be really cool. They did Peely, so they could. <laughs> For the thumbnail. <laughs> Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Red Bull Fortnite collab, but then it's actually just some guy being like, I think it'd be really cool, anyways. Moving right along, man. <laughs> I already know the thumbnail now. It's gonna be that and then be going. <laughs> <laughs> just a goat episode, anyways, just a goat thumbnail. Goat but, thumbnail. Gonna, um, gonna get all the clickos. Back to, uh, but back yeah, to Arkham Knight. Enough about, I mean, obviously, like, people someone dying is always like the main thing in any one of these yeah. shows like who's gonna die in the finale who's gonna get sucked off in the finale you know God! <laughs> what if um but what if full you know what the, you know what stranger things is missing full, full penetration. penetration yeah exactly I agree. Right. except they're all kids so maybe no maybe Steve, retract retract steven that. vecna retracted 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 redacted redacted retracted um dude that was like i saw this tiktok clip of uh uh, Drake's girlfriend and she was talking about she didn't realize how old Mike and Elle were in the show when they were married. and by Drake's girlfriend you're talking about Millie Bobby Brown yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Drake's yeah, shorty yeah. Drake's side piece um Drake's uh, side piece side ting yeah. main main ting. main ting bro no his son oh no <laughs> but she didn't realize that they were like 13 and then she was like Oh, we were 13. They were supposed to be 13. Have you, and I was like, um, thank you. Yeah. I'm the only one who thought that that was Se- weird. Season three was a problem, guys. Season it's three. It's just, I don't want to watch CP, bro. Se- I'm sorry. That's Season three, the beginning, was a problem. But um, but not because they're making And I remember, I'm not going to name names, but I was talking to someone about this, about season three when it was coming out. And I was like, I just like really don't feel comfortable watching like Mike and Elle make out. It's just like. They're kids. I don't think we should be watching this. Yeah. And the person I was talking to was like, I don't see a problem with it. And they were like, I've actually never been harder. I'm like, oh, <laughs> man. I know who it was. Yeah. Me. But, yep, it was you. Um, <laughs> actually, I, I definitely know who it is. Yeah, you know who it is. I'm not going to say who it is. I'm not going to say it either, bro. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, but. I'm not even sure if they're listening, but anyways. It, I, mean, I mean, regardless of whether they it turned are me or on. Not. Just, no, not making out this story. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, but have you seen, speaking of Drake, have you seen the videos where it's like yes. Drake in 2016? No. Oh, no. Okay. And then it's a guy like vibe into the song and then it got touched Jake and, or Jake, <laughs> Drake in 2022. And it's a dude just doing like a weird club. <laughs> dude, no. Oh my God. Okay. Uh, this is what I thought you were going to say. I'm going to pull up TikTok right now. I'm not going to play any. I, I don't need this music. This is the Stranger Things Theory Corner, by the I way. I don't need music. But we think that, actually, that's we my think theory. That Drake I mean, is going to make Drake is going to make an appearance. appearance. But videos on TikTok, they just clown on Drake are the best. Like there's these ones that are just like, it'll be a picture of Drake, like a really cringe picture of Drake. And it'll be like, Drake, the type of guy to do this. And it's like, for some reason, they're so accurate. It's like Drake, the type of guy to rub his hands together and say, let's dig in before eating food. <laughs> it's so, Drake, the type of dude to say P.U. when something <laughs> smells bad. Drake, the type of guy to say a little birdie told me. Drake, the type of guy when he's mad at someone, he covers his ears and says, la, 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 can't hear you. Drake, the type of guy to say, <laughs> to surprise his homies with a visit from the tickle monster. <laughs> Dude. Dude, that's kind of heat, though. Can I get a tickle from Drake? Drake, the type of guy to go up to a school shooter and say, This isn't you. <laughs> Drake, the type of guy to float in the air when he smells pie. It's so. Ch- Drake, the type of guy to clap when the plane lands. <laughs> <laughs> Drake the type of dude to get slapped by his girl and say I deserve that yeah. Drake the type of guy to get smoke coming out of his ears when he's mad Drake the type right. of guy to say now a silly one when taking group photos <laughs> I'm actually crying Oh my goodness What one had me? The tickle monster <laughs> Drake the type of guy to say oopsie daisy when dropping something Drake, the type of guy to close his eyes when he hugs his homies. Dude, you just gotta give your homies Drake, a Drake, the type hug. of guy to say, let me slide right past you. 
Oh. Anyways, so many good ones, man. Those are some classics. Man. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, why is that a picture that Anthony would take? Oh, it is, bro. <laughs> 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 okay. This has just become a, a podcast of me and Ethan looking at just Dude, nasty okay, yeah, photos we need of to get Drake. Back to, oh, God. <clears throat> just I I've got so many videos of those and they're just so good. But anyways, outside of people dying, is there anything that you sort of um, think is going to happen that maybe leads into season five, that or or the end of the show in in your case? You know what? Here's what's great about my brain. <clears throat> Nothing is that I remember seeing a TikTok about behind like a behind the scenes clip of two actors being in like or no, it was actually I do kind of remember. It, I'm not going to say, it, but it was an actor. Um, OK, wait. So it was it was a yeah, clip in the harness. Yeah. Yeah. And I was like, oh, OK. And I was like, OK, whatever. But that could mean. That could I mean, mean, if, if I mean, it that does happen, anything. if it does happen, it happens. If it does happen, it's predictable for at least who it was. But but, but here's the thing is. <clears throat> Like and also, who knows where Max, that? It doesn't really spoil anything. Max but. getting levitated by Vecna was a thumbnail on Netflix, and not just a thumbnail for an episode. It was the main show thumbnail for like twelve hours. Yeah. Before I assume someone got in trouble, so I saw that and I'm like, "Oh, Max is dead." Yeah. Like she's toast. But then she ended up being fine. But even still, in the moment of of. Uh, her running. I was still really song. cool. I thought that she, I still, there were many moments where I'm like, oh, she's toast. Yeah. Um, no so offense, it still but made for, it's still made for, it. even though I knew that partially it was coming, it's still made for an intense, entertaining moment. So to know that that character potentially is going to get strapped up. Could be cool. It could be like, and maybe they die. Maybe. Or maybe they don't. And maybe that's sort of, Maybe something else is going on, you know? Yeah. There's a lot of different possibilities outside I think, of just like, oh, this per this character is getting possessed by Vecna. They're dead. Like, yeah. Nancy might not be dead. Oh, yeah. It ended with her getting <clears throat> possessed, right? It ended with her in, like, the pool where Barb... And and I'm sick of I'm sick of Barb, man. Not, Get her out of here, man. She's dead. She's been dead since she's, season she's one. Gone, she's the first man. to go. Let her, no justice for Barb. Let her man. die. No man. justice for Barb. She's she, she's, get get Barb out of here. She's long gone. No one cares about Barb. Um, <clears throat> but it ended with her sort of, and then she was getting walked through as the as one was giving the monologue, right to L. One um, thing, sorry, I don't know if you're done. But one thing, I don't know if you're going. I, no, no, I, I, I was done. I was saying like Nancy being in the in the upside down, or, right? Doesn't or mean whatever, she's doesn't necessarily mean she's dead. necessarily dead. Um, I don't think Nancy's gonna die. It wouldn't make sense. So that would be such a random ass character to kill off. Because and then the other, the other, the other. Sorry, I, I didn't mean to cut you off. But the other aspect that we sort of have to, and I'm interested to see how that how this plays in is, the upside down is back in time. Yeah, it's stuck. It's stuck in. Uh, it's like, stuck on the first day. That will was possessed. Right. So I don't know if I, I don't know how like that has to play some sort of yeah factor into these episodes. And can Vecna influence time? Can he go back in time? Can we, you know, yeah, like it like that's one of the that's one of the theories that that was presented about Will was he, he can say, like, I can bring you back in time and give you Mike. Right. And sort of like use him wanting to be with Mike as like a drive for, for recruiting will again onto his side. Mm. Be like, I will get rid of like, go back in time. We'll get L out of the picture and you can have Mike all to yourself. That's sort of one of the theories that I really liked. Actually, now that I think about it, who, who killed the mind flare in the end in season three, who did the final blow? Was it L? Um, do you know? Stab Billy. And then, it had to have been L, right? Yeah, because I'm thinking like, now that I'm thinking about it, maybe in season three at the mall, you're talking. Yeah, about maybe Will doesn't die, and Will and Will has like this super awesome. I'm kind of getting like chills thinking about it. He's got this like super cool, just like stand up to the villain. Like, nah, bro, you've been controlling my life for way too long. They just fucking one v one, and Will just bosses up on Vecna. And is like I don't think comes Vecna out of the upside down is like I did it guys like it's over. 
actually. I don't know what season five would be in that case, but that's the thing is that I I thought that, but then I'm like, but that would be really cool in my opinion. I think like a Will one v one Vecna where like where like he's trying to mentally overcome. Well, he already this, tried. This it would that be really cool in season two. Remember when he's like, "I'm not afraid of you. I'm not afraid of you." To the to the mind flare. Yeah, but and then it, it he was a little boy, him. bro. That would be that would be interesting if he goes, "I'm not afraid of you. I'm not afraid of you." And then Wagner just kills him. <laughs> oh, he's like, "All right, yeah." So we can keep talking, but we're gonna take a little break. Um, for the we'll most share part, our final thoughts and then yeah. we'll wrap up the pod. Yeah, taking a break. See y'all in a bit. All right, welcome back. Um, so let's wrap up. <clears throat> let's wrap up our thoughts. My thoughts are one of two things: either Will is going to sacrifice himself mm-hmm. for the greater good. Um, and he's going to kill both him and Vecna mm. same time or him and Vecna are going to have an epic one V one nuke town oh. <laughs> and Will's going to kill Vecna and no one's going to die. Dude. Well, not no Shut one, up. but like someone's like not like no one's going to die in the sense of like as a sacrifice. Like maybe mm. obviously someone's going to die, mm. which sucks because mm. I mean, we, I don't want to go on. Too much longer. But I think a show that can drive um, suspense and without killing off people is really good. When you have to resort to killing people, yeah, it's I, kind no, of I respect is what that. it is. But if they don't kill anyone, and that's it's good. also fine. If, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. If they uh, don't kill yeah. anyone, I'd rather... And, well, if they don't kill Mike, I'm going to be pissed. But. I'd rather they don't kill anybody and it be good. Because some shows resort to killing people for it to be like crazy. But anyways... So those are my thoughts. Either an epic 1v1 where Will comes out victorious or all of them fight Vecna at once and Will sacrifices himself. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. So I, thanks for listening, guys. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I mean, I'm definitely excited to watch it. People are like, there's only two episodes. Only two. Bro, there's like four hours. Yeah, I was content. about to say, it's like it's like eight <laughs> episodes, bro. It's like they gave us they gave us seven TV show episodes. And they gave us they 17 gave us, episodes. And now they gave us two movies to watch. They gave us more than seven TV shows, bro. They were each like an hour and a half. I know. The episodes this season were nuts. But um, I I never get angry at long TV episodes. I'm like, give me more. Content. As long as they're give me good. As much. That's true. As long as it's not The Witcher, if bro. If they drag, then I'm like. Yo, all right. Witcher should have been have twenty minute episodes. <laughs> actually, <laughs> probably actually would have facts. The show. Like, yeah, keep that shit condensed, bro. Um, <clears throat> I I'm I I just think that the buyers are in for not a good time as they mm-hmm. usually are. I think Joyce and Hopper and and what's the other guy's name? Jonathan, not Jonathan. The, Will. No, no, no. Uh, the oh, shave. Oh, oh. <laughs> What's his name? Uh, Murray. Murray. I think they're gonna, shaved. <laughs> they're gonna get back. <clears throat> those aren't the buyers. Only one of those are the buyers. On my spit. I know, but I'm saying they're gonna get back, and right in time for Joyce to watch Will get fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like Joyce's gonna be like, oh my god. But that already kind of. But that already kind of happened with Bob. Yo, though. Jonathan. We didn't even talk about Jonathan. Jonathan might be dead. No. And that might. Or Jonathan might be used as a piece, another piece of the puzzle but jo- for Vecna to manipulate Will. Maybe, but Jonathan's not really like in a place to die. You know what I mean? But Jonathan and Argyle, those are two characters that who gives a shit about them if they kill them off? I give a shit. My God. Um, I give a shit about Steve. <laughs> yeah, so I I don't know. I, I think the buyers are doomed, as they have been this entire show. Mm-hmm. Um. But I hope that I kind of like, I don't really want them to dispatch a Vecna, but at the same time, it's like, okay, if we have Vecna for all of season five as well, it's like, what more is this guy going to do? Yeah. But if they do get rid of him, they need to, they need to one up. Like if they're going into the final season, but with the, no Vecna, they need to give us a final, final boss. Like no, they, they, they can't do that again, though. It's got to be something different. They can't do like... That's what I'm saying. Have every L, single have season... the villain. Every single season was like, no, but oh, I'm we not defeated saying, him. Oh, wait, no. There's someone higher up. I'm not oh, wait, saying, no, there's someone I'm higher up. In that no, sense, there's someone even higher. I don't higher. think there's anyone higher in the Upside Down than Vecna. I think Vecna Yeah, because if they did that the for a charge. fifth time, it's like, but I'm saying, oh, my God. I'm saying if you're not going to have Vecna, you still have to have an even more compelling antagonist for the... 
final season, and then I think that it would have to either be Will, Dustin's or, girlfriend. Oh, it it would. I wonder if well, like what if Will gets powers at the end of the season? That would be cool. Will gets powers, and then he's beefing with L in the final season. Or no one. He could be the villain. Maybe. Maybe. Or two. <laughs> Who? You are the villain. Ew. No, I think Will getting powers would be sick, and then no, the, and then Will and that would L be, could that would be. Who's him? Huh? You said him, Will, and L. Who's him? I think I said I think it would be cool if Will. Yeah. You, you said you think it'd be cool if Will got powers, and then him, Will, and L could have a fight. Come on, man. I'm talking about. <laughs> You're tired. I'm tired. But I am very excited to watch that. I've blocked yeah. out this evening. I'm going to watch both episodes tonight, and uh, yeah buzz and see what happens and, and i'm excited and i guess this is sort of the the benefit of of releasing things not all at once is we've had a month to build up the hype, forget about it the anticipation forget what the forget, hell happened for forget, the first yeah. half of the season yeah um but i do think that this is this is this is the way that i would release any tv show is not one episode every week it would be Half the season at once and the other half, or in this case, the final two episodes mm. at the same time. And that way we're not just drip fed, but we have enough to build up the hype and then theorize, still have time to theorize about how it's going to end and then get the ending. Mm -hmm. Instead of, I, I can't stand, I cannot stand week to week. Like I'm just waiting for this season of the boys to finish so that I could watch it in one thing because there's no way that I want to just like watch one, yeah. one a week. Like, ugh. I mean, Disney Plus, even Disney Plus shows, I'm like, okay, like this past episodes of Miss Marvel, I'm like, they kind of lost me with this one. They're losing me a little bit. And it's like, if I had another episode to watch right after that, it might be able to pull me back in because like, I'm like, all right, I'm kind of like, like, all right, what's, what's happening right now? Like I'm losing interest in these characters. And I have to wait. I just have to let that build up and simmer for an entire week and then go into the next episode. And then if it's bad, you're even like... Even less. And I'm like, I waited still a bad. week for this. It's like, wow. But it then is. on the other hand, for Obi-Wan, for example, highly invested in those characters and was looking forward to that every single Wednesday. Yeah. But I still think that... Just I think it give depends. it all to me at once. Yeah. Or give me the first bit and then wait and then give me the last bit. Mm -hmm. I think that... I think that's sort of the optimal way of, of going about things. Normally I wouldn't have a problem with that. It's just spoilers in the internet that, uh, yeah, become spoilers. a problem. But even, it, but even week to week, if you don't watch the episode right away, there's, some but it's only one episode instead of like some, like most people are going to watch an entire show like stranger things the day it comes out. So if you don't, you're fucked. Well, that's why instead of yeah. one episode a day, but I, yeah, I agree with you week to week can get frustrating. Yeah. Anyways. Depending on how long the seasons are. Yes. Yeah. Like Stranger Things was a juicy season. Um, but like I'm not going on TikTok today until I watch these episodes yeah. because I know I'm going to pull it up and it's going to be like, oh, and there's a spoiler. And Vecna like, died. And they're all dead. And Vecna's in the corpses, show. Just a line of corpses. Yeah. Um, but anyways, very excited to watch. And let us know your opinions on the show because by yeah. the time this comes out, we'll have watched it. Yeah. So. And maybe we'll be right. Ideally, we aren't. But... Yeah, so next week we'll likely be talking about it. We might Full debrief it. We talk. might debrief it. We might. Is something happening next Thursday? I no. want to see Thor. Okay, that's that's what it was. I, I can't go see Thor. Actually, I have a party, partying, partying. Partying, getting Anywho. COVID before the weekend? Yes. Buzz. Anyways, Even if guys, I did, it's not going to take... We're not getting into this. My goodness. Right? Anyways, Let's debate guys, COVID now. Thank you for listening. OSI episode four. Welcome. To episode number I just four. I flipped off the entire audience. Welcome to episode number four. Patrick, how's it going? Good. And that's actually where we're going to end the podcast because I don't want to talk to you. I'm down to run long. We already did run long. Run. They already did run long. We did run long. Anyways. Thanks, guys, for listening. We'll catch you guys in the next episode. Peace. Jinx, you me a kiss. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>